Hello everyone, welcome back to some more crosswords. I'm getting kind of kind of getting used to doing the crosswords on camera instead of off, so I sat down to do the crossword today and I said, hey, might as well record it, right? It certainly is a little bit more work, you know. I have to focus more and, it's, and you know, can't have as, whatever. Anyway, let me, let me get my thoughts together and let's actually get started. The first Velociraptor fossil was found uh, in Utah. Tank part? The, I mean, there's tanks like the military vehicle. There's also like gas tanks, um, other kinds of tanks for holding things. I don't know. Take a chance. Um, I mean, you could try something if you take a chance. Hope, probably not. Blank Drago, foe of Rocky Balboa. Ugh. I don't know anything about Rocky. Image file type. Whoa, not Utah. Image file type with a much debated pronunciation is GIF. I have to say it out loud, and I won't allow you to claim that it's GIF, even though the creator of the format thinks it should be. He's just wrong. Um, the first Velociraptor fossil was discovered. I guess they found Utah raptors in Utah, right? But I don't know. Don't know this actress at all. Not loving anymore. Um, something you're not loving anymore, you're tired of it. Um, you're sick of, I don't know. All right, so we're gonna have a multi-part theme clue. Um, it looks like kind of completing one long okay no 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 they're they're related but they're not all like one big big long quote as sometimes happens or or one long joke they're ways that people who are unhappy with a job might rebel presumably as some kind of pun i don't know the details here Drill press operator. I don't even really know what a drill press is. Uh, increases in intensity. Um, probably it something's up, perhaps turns up. I am the walrus and revolution for two. Those are albums, right? Yeah, and there are 10 million somethings in a jewel. Probably ergs, right? <clears throat> I don't exactly know the relative size of an erg and a jewel, but they're both measures of work. And I think ergs are pretty small. I don't know any shoe designers. Uh, zealous ending with you? That's a little worrying. <clears throat> A triangular snack item. They're probably looking for a Dorito, so maybe not I am the walrus? I don't know, it could just be any kind of chip, I guess. It doesn't have to be a Dorito. Take a chance, dice, dice, I don't know. Ah, something you're not loving anymore, you're over it, sure. Someone who's zealous is avid? Dare is take a chance. Um, I mean, this is probably N for Ing, and Rene is a person's name. Oh, are these B sides? Makes sense. A cottage cheese morsel. Oh, geez. Um, I mean, cottage cheese is kind of like lumpy, isn't it? But I don't know if they call them lumps. A beginner's trumpet sound, uh, you would probably make a toot sound, if I had to guess. <laughs> um, tennis star Naomi, I don't know. Unhappy calendar marker, I don't know. They're raised on farms. Um, well, a lot of things, right? You know, lambs, for example, are raised on farms. But 
I somehow think this isn't going to be an animal, and it's probably not going to be a plant either. This is going to be some kind of... I don't know, that's just a little bit too simple for a Thursday clue, I think. Uh, what about king or queen, e.g.? Uh, I can't think of any like chess piece things that are three letters that would be relevant here. Um, I guess they're also cards. Obviously, the most the most obvious meaning is rulers of countries, but I thought it might be some kind of wordplay on the other kinds of meanings of those things first. Um, whoops. And also, I can't think of a three letter thing that a king and a queen are examples of. Blank Pacific. Asia Pacific is a thing people sometimes say. Railroad station info. They would they would have routes in them maybe. Puts coins into. The thing that I think of is a vending machine, but vends is not correct. That's kind of the opposite. Oh man, I'm getting I'm getting killed out here. Uh, Polish in a way, or perhaps Polish in a way. Teas. <clears throat> Could be a noun, like a person who teases. Uh, more obviously, it could be a verb, um, which could mean like to make fun of, but also could mean to kind of fiddle apart, right? To tease something apart. Join together in a way. Um, probably weld. Something blown on for good luck. Finally, I can use some ink. You blow on a die for good luck. Still don't know this though. Kamenechi of gymnastics. You can tell I'm not gonna get that one. Early people of the Great Lakes. Um, I don't really know this, but this is one of the like, crossword words that that I know is like an, a Native American tribe. I don't know where that tribe was. Maybe they were near the Great Lakes. Who knows? The Otos. A low effort internet joke, I guess, is a meme. World weary. I mean, tired, obviously, but probably jaded, in fact. Perform an operation, E-D-D. -D. Well, that doesn't sound right, but you know what would would be add addition as an operation. Um, don't know about this elevator operator. Wedding pair. Um, something that you would have a pair of at a wedding is I do's. Probably. I don't know. I'm not sure about that, but um, ring is something you might think to put here, but I think it has to be plural here. Uh, book after Joel? No idea. On the straight and narrow now, probably re something. Early PC software was MS DOS. So I do's is looking good. President who also served as provisional governor of Cuba? I don't know. Frederick Douglass? I don't know. Oh, this is rough. Foils. Um, could be defeats. I don't think that's right. But um, you like when you foil a person, you, you do defeat them. Usually you're foiling their plans, preventing their plans from happening. I don't know what a long hike is here. Orthopedic surgeon, huh? 
An art deco artist? Oh, geez, I don't know. First name on the Supreme Court? Are they um, looking for the first name of a current justice or like the name of the first person who was on the Supreme Court or what? Mix up is probably stir. Could be mosh, of course, but I don't think, I think they'd have to hint that a little differently. Um, recognized. Uh, again, this could be a verb or an adjective, right? Someone who has, who is recognized. Um, Isn't square. It's not saying not square. So we're not looking for the antonym of square, like round or hip or something. Um, ah, we're looking for uh, a verb um, that would indicate something is isn't square and and if you you aren't square if you are owing right so someone who isn't square is someone who owes like royal flushes i guess they're rare pay to play is anti we saw that in a recent one i don't remember exactly when frederick Douglass must have been an orator he probably wants something this unhappy orthopedic surgeon. I say he. Of course, it could be she. It doesn't really matter to the clue. Just reaching for the most convenient pronoun. I don't know this Art Deco artist even with a letter. Recognized? Yeah, someone who's recognized as, as a hero is seen as a hero, for example. Cute calendar subject. A kitten would be a cute calendar subject. Westernmost capital in mainland Africa. I don't know, not Cairo. It's about the best I can do. A freeway hauler. Hauler. A semi? Yeah, Mr. Abroad is Sri. There are places where that's a form of, what sort of I'm thinking of? A form, not, not a form of address, but like a, a kind of title. Maybe form address is what I mean. Anyway, to graze is to skim. Museum on the Thames, that very well could be the Tate, actually. Wants, something breaks, right? But what does that have to do with being an orthopedic surgeon? Uh, okay, and uh, the Aladdin villain is Jafar. Must be breaks, right? Well, okay. S mm. Doesn't have to be break. Could be something else. Orth Orthopedist, right? That's like... That's feet, right? It's not just bones in general? I think so. Anyway, original occupation for Rachel on Friends. I assume she was a way... Oops. Waitress. Uh, if you foil something, you thwart it. A long hike is a trek. Ugh, I still don't, I don't know my African capitals much at all. Ah, but a Rio greeting is hola. You would say that in Portuguese, which is what they speak in Brazil. Elena, I guess. I sort of thought that might be it when I first looked at this, but I didn't want to admit that I don't really know the names of... I, I can't remember if Elena is like the name of an actual justice or like the name of NPR's reporter for the Supreme Court. <laughs> um, to whom the Parthenon is dedicated, I suppose it must be Athena. Uh, an orth the unhappy orthopedic surgeon wants more breaks, I guess. Interesting. Must have been President Taft. A seafood server is a raw bar. I like a raw bar is a kind of restaurant, and what is served at that restaurant 
or by that restaurant, it is uh, seafood. Um, yeah, someone on the street in Norton Narrow is reformed, so I didn't need to know Dakar, thankfully. Okay, the unhappy elevator operator asks for a raise. Puts coins into, I don't know. Book after Joel. Amos? I don't know, that's a name. Speculate. Oh, okay, well, I'm wrong about... It's probably like a blat or something, um, but the Spanish kiss is a beso. So if you're teasing someone, you are ragging on them. To speculate is to wager. Let's go ahead and fill in Asia now. I'm still not sure what the joke about drill press operators is, though. Whoops, not B cat, black. Casually try. Huh. I'm thinking like dip a toe in, but that's too long and also doesn't fit with the B or the L. All right, let's just see if we can get any of the downs here. Poet exiled by Augustus. Um, was Ovid around then? I don't know. Scourge. Um, that can be a noun, <clears throat> like a, a feared thing. Um, a bane of sorts, uh, but it could also be a, a verb meaning like to to scrub and clean thoroughly or wipe out a oh, wipe fits. I don't think that's it, though. Not appropriate or not appropriate. It could be like a verb. Don't appropriate something. I wonder if this is Giza. It's a three letter, a four letter place that starts with G. Uh, broadcasting aids. Um, I mean, we could guess it ends with an S, I suppose, although I'm not in, married to that by any means. Like, you know, uh, antennas are broadcasting aids, so are... Satellites, I don't know. Title woman of a 1965 Beach Boys hit. Ah, oh, geez, I should know this. Um... Uh... Okay, well, we'll get back to it, I guess. Part of a Mickey Mouse costume. Well, I got giant ears, I tell you that. Or like a big old nose. Um, he's got those like weird white gloves. Um, those overalls with like a big button on them. A vest maybe? It's a little like, I don't, I don't know. That's a little too, Mickey Mouse is too specific to clue vests, so I don't think that's it, but we'll leave it there for now. A Torah holder. Ah, what do you put a Torah in? Um, you put it in an arc. Casually try. Ah, of course. You to casually try something is to dabble in it. Okay. So uh, the unhappy drill press operator finds something boring. 
work boring, probably. Oops. Oh, is part of it ears plural? That doesn't seem right to me. Tanks have a tread on them, though. Broadcasting aids. Still don't really know. Renee seems pretty good. Is it Osaka, Osama? I don't know. I don't know this gymnast. Still not sure about Otos. Oh, probably something week off or something? Yeah. Wants a week off. Broadcasting, you need towers, radio towers. O'Hara? Omara? Ah, Rhonda. Yeah, O'Hara. Cottage cheese has curds. Taters are... Spuds, right? What's with this tea? <sighs> Not appropriate. Well, we have some downs here. Uh, I mean, I can, I can pencil in Ovid. I did guess it might be Ovid, and I didn't have the eye yet. I even said the word ba the word bane when describing a scourge, and it is four letters. It must be the Gobi Desert, I guess. Ivan. Something that increases in intensity deepens. Something inappropriate is indecent. Okay, so this must be must not be wants. Something else. These are spuds. Needs a week off. Okay. I still don't know these early people. What are raised on farms? Railroad station info. Ah, to put coins into is to feed, as in a meter. Yeah, railroad stations would have a, well, an estimated time of arrival. What is it? FT Lee? Fort Lee? It's supposed to be abbreviated because we have GW, so I guess I can believe it. I'm surprised we, we filled in the top half so quickly, right? I remember at like 16 minutes, I had most of the bottom. And now here we are seven minutes later, we've got most of the top. But I'm not sure about these last few. Polish in a way, uh, actually, you dusting something is sort of a way to polish it. Although, maybe better than that as a guess would be like Nadia is a word or a name that starts like this, or that, that fits this shape. You know what's raised on farms? Barns are raised on farms. Get it, right? You gotta erect a structure, you raise a barn. Um, still don't know these last two letters though. King or queen? E.G. A, B, C, D, E. Bed, a bed. Yes, you can have a king bed. Polish is to edit. There we go. 24 minutes, that's a pretty good time. Yeah, and uh, didn't have to go back over anything twice after, well, I didn't have to be told by the crossword that I, that I had anything wrong. I noticed it on my own. Uh, are there any good ones? I don't know. These puns are cute. I like the Thursdays. Um, I'm surprised, actually, given all the names here. 
that I got them all because I mostly don't know a lot of names and I'm glad there were enough crosses for me. It was Osaka. I feel like I heard about her recently, right? Like she's she's a recent tennis star, not a not a historical one. She like um didn't she beat Serena Williams and then Serena Williams like and, and she was like, oh, it's just been my dream to play against you, Serena. And Serena was like, fuck you. Like, I don't know. She didn't say that, but she was very rude, is my recollection. It was sort of in the news. Anyway, uh, I guess that's it uh, for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.